Hello my Dottie family and welcome to my channel. Come and join me on this magical journey through the world of Dot Art. I am Zelda from the Fairy Realm and today we are going to get started on the planning of our rock design for beginners. <laughs> if, you, if you're new to my channel and you haven't watched the fundamentals yet, uh, please go and watch the fundamental videos. I'll put the link up here. And if you have, then we are ready to get going with our little rock. I've already painted this one black. That's just about almost four inches in diameter for this rock here that we're going to be using today. Or it could be 11 centimeters. So if you have your flexi ruler, we're definitely going to be using that one today. And then also, if you don't have my stencils and you just want a quick get around, because we are going to do a 16 section design. So um, you can purchase this from my Etsy store. You can also make use of that. But um, this is the stencil that I have available in my Etsy store, which is going to help us with the planning of our rock today. So we're going to take our white chalk pencils. And then as you can see, this is the center point of our rocks. And then I'm going to just line up the center of my stencil with that one. And for this specific design, we're going to do 16 equal sections. So if you have a look at the stencil, it is the third row from the outside. And you'll see they connect it with lines. So that is the circle we're going to be marking all of the dots in. So you don't want to press too hard because you don't want to indent your rock if you are using a plaster of Paris rock. You just want to be able to see the marks made like so. If you're going to be using the quick paper ones that I, I sell, what you can do is you make a hole pierce a hole in the center like that so that you can line up your center dot and then you're going to mark where every single line is as you can see it's already lining up so that's where your marks are going to fall to give you that 16 equal sections all right, once you've marked it, we can use our flexi rulers. And from the inside out, you're going to draw the lines as far down as you can possibly go. We also want to keep the chalk lines very light uh, because it does sometimes interfere with the paint and we don't want our dots to be interfered with. The reason why I'm not cross-connecting this dot and that dot is because they don't always line up when you go through the center and then sometimes it comes out skew. So what you want to do is you always want to go from the center outward. If you want to cross-connect, that's uh, you can do that. But I can't guarantee that everything is not going to be a little bit more lined up. Than what it should be. Now, what I want to do is I just want to do a few circles in here as well. So I'm going to mark them at about 1.5 centimeter intersections so that would be about half an inch <clears throat> I'm just going to mark put my zero on the center and then mark it like that 
Now here is where you want to work really, really lightly. Um, I've also seen some people, if you want to put a piece of plaster in the center so that you don't damage it, you can do that because a lot of people, they press too hard and then they actually start digging a hole <laughs> into their rock. So be very, very gentle when you do this. You know, so to not to damage your rock. Okay, so this is what we want as the planning for our rock. What I've also done is I've chosen five colors for this one. I'm using clear blue. I'm using sage green. Teal. Lavender. And violet. And this is also the order I'm going to be using it in. So my color one will be clear blue. Sage two, teal three, lavender four, and then violet will be five. So you can choose your own colors. I'll be referring to them as color number one, two, three, and four. But let's get started with the dotting in the next video. Thank you so much for joining me today, you guys. I will see you in video number two. Stay dotty, stay magical. Keep well.